Hi, this is Daryl Barnes with Barnes Basics, and we're going to do another problem in our kinematic series. This is problem 3B, and this problem actually coincides with a video named Suspected Sasquatch Betting Site. Look, that, look for that link in the comments or right around this video. Here's the problem. The camera flash startles the Bigfoot and it accelerates uniformly to the south from rest at the rate of 1.1 meter per second squared for three seconds. What is its final velocity at 3.0 seconds from this initial startle time? This is a continuation of another problem. There's a problem 3A that we already performed and it is also a Sasquatch problem and so let's take a look at this and see what we can learn from this word problem. The Bigfoot is startled, it accelerates uniformly to the south from rest. So that's telling us that the initial velocity is equal to zero meters per second. Yes and it accelerates at the rate of 1.1 meter per second squared to the south and it does this for three seconds. So the time is equal to 3.0 seconds. In this problem I am going to work this on the TI-84 plus C and also on the TI Inspire cast. So make sure that on your TI 84 plus C that across the top it reads normal fixed six des real degree in math print MP. If it doesn't say that, all you have to do is hit uh, mode and just tab down through there with your nav pad and fix those before we get started. And if you are using the TI Inspire cast, if you hit on or home and then if you went to settings which is 5 click on that go down to document settings make sure that you have float 6 degree normal and approximate listed that way you will have the best experience possible as we move through this problem so let's see what we can do about plugging this information into our equation here Final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus the acceleration multiplied by time. This is actually a rearrangement of the initial acceleration or the uniform acceleration equation. And I showed how to isolate VF in the previous video. It's called physics coach number one. So here we go. Let's see what we can figure out. If we're solving for final velocity right here, the initial velocity is 0.0, .0 meters per second, and we are to add this to 1.1 meter per second squared, and then we're to multiply this by 3.0, 3.0 seconds. Well, as you can see, in this problem, a value of zero for initial velocity allows that to just drop straight out of the calculations. When we have seconds over seconds, that allows the seconds to cancel on the top and the bottom, leaving us with the unit of meter per second, which happens to be the correct unit for velocity. So, in this case, we're basically just going to multiply 1.1 times 3.0. So let's do that. In our TI-84 Plus, we would hit on and clear. And let's go 1.1 multiplied by 3.0 and hit enter. And I get 3.3, 0, We've got a float 6 going on there. Let's see what we get with the TI Inspire. If we nav pad down to the bottom left of the screen where there's a multiply, divide, minus, plus button, let's click on that so that we can pull up a document. And we've already configured this, so we're within the document that has been configured. 
1.1 multiplied by 3.0 and hit enter and your TI Inspire, my TI Inspire simply gives 3.3. So we know that the unit is meters per second and so we should put down meters per second. We also know that it is in a direction of south. Another thing that's kind of important is to look at the significant figures. 3.0 has two sig figs. Why? Because there is a whole number and there is a zero to the right of a whole number to the right of a decimal. 1.1 has two sig figs because both of those are whole numbers. So we should report our answer. We should start with a large number and move to the right in this case and cut this off. Zero does not make the three increase. So our final answer would be VF is equal to 3.3 meters per second to the south. And let's, let's circle that. It's always nice to circle our information. Make sure that you go and watch the video. Kind of add a little flavor to this problem. And the next thing that we're going to look at is a new equation. We're going to actually blend a couple equations together to calculate displacement. It's going to be a physics coach number two. So watch for that coming up, and then we will do a 3C. We'll continue this Sasquatch adventure.